Hey everyone, Couch Investor here, back with another Spotify video for today. So in today's video, we're going to discuss Spotify's next master move, which is bringing movies to their platform. They have partnered up with Churning Entertainment, who are well known for making movies such as Ford vs. Ferrari, the Planet of the Apes trilogy and The Greatest Showman and obviously many many more. We're going to discuss all of this in this video as well as an interesting investment made by their CEO Daniel Ek. He's invested in a company founded by two Tesla executives. We're going to discuss all of this in this video but before I get into that if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do so. We're almost at 4,000 subscribers so please push that red button and help me get there. And if you like those videos, leave it an early thumbs up as it really helps me outgrow the channel and get my videos out there. So without further ado, let's start with the charts. Right, so as we can see, the stock actually tried to go above $300 back in July. It failed. It went all the way back down to around $240, which was support. It bounced off that, tried it again to go above the $300 mark, failed again at $293. Then the market crashed, went through support at $240, went all the way back down for one day at $220. Then it bounced back up, tried to break that $240 mark, failed, went back down again for one last time. And then it made its way and broke the $240 mark. Now we're at $245. And to make its way all the way back up to $300, it will have to go up 23%. I think it's going to happen before the year is ending, but you never know with elections, pandemic, riots, whatever. The stock market could crash again, but in my opinion, sooner rather than later, we are going to see Spotify at $300. So if you're a long-term investor, this shouldn't worry you at all. You could actually buy more stock right here at a cheaper price when the stock market overreacts you always get stock cheaper. All right, so now that we've got that out of the way, some of you might know I've been covering Spotify for a while now. I made two videos, one just after the Joe Rogan deal, which is a more in-depth, full view analysis of the Spotify stock and company. And the other one is just after the partnership or deal with DC Comics and Kim Kardashian. Both of them will be in the top right corner. So let's jump into the first topic of this video, which is the partnership with Churning Entertainment. Obviously, Spotify has lots and lots of podcasts on their platform. Some of them can be made into movies or TV shows. Obviously, not all of them will be made into TV shows or movies. It is undisclosed when they will start filming or pro producing such content. But this is not the first time Spotify has actually transformed an audio content into a movie they've actually done it a couple of times here are a couple of examples for amazon prime there is homecoming for hbo max there is the two princes so you see it's not really a podcast like the joe rogan podcast or maybe impulsive if you watch one of those it's more of a storyline storytelling podcast which brings me back to my point in my last video about spotify going into audiobooks right now obviously amazon with audible is the king of that but i believe spotify could tap into that market and obviously then maybe visualize and make movies from that now right now this deal does not mean that churning entertainment has exclusive rights to spotify's podcast and vice versa spotify can work with other company to create um, visual content from their content on the platform now, I would think that the production should probably start next year, obviously with the pandemic going on right now, I think everything will be pushed back to next year. So we might see some new shows maybe in two years time or so, or even less depending on the quality and the input of every content creator. Because right now I think Spotify is willing to give those content creators maybe access to be able to participate in such projects obviously to make it clear not everything will be made into this huge tv show movie franchise some of them will stay animated in my opinion like the two princes will be animated series homecoming will not etc it remains to be seen but in my opinion this is a huge step forward into spotify's roadmap and in my opinion maybe a way into tapping into this video content like they've been doing right now with Joe Rogan's podcast and maybe other podcasts as well. But overall, this is just the beginning for Spotify's video content. Obviously, audio content is huge and thankfully this year it has been accelerating like crazy and with deals like the Joe Rogan deal, Kim Kardashian, DC Comics and Michelle Obama as well. I think this has propelled 
Spotify into that top number one spot in the world for audio content and maybe tap into that Netflix type of content creation for videos. All right, and next up we have the investment made by Spotify's CEO Daniel Ek into a company founded by two former Tesla executives. It's a company in Sweden called Nordvolt. They have actually raised $600 million from seven new investors. Some of those investors are Goldman Sachs, obviously Daniel Ek, and Volkswagen. Obviously their plan is to make the greenest battery on the planet for electric vehicles. They have partnered up with BMW and Volkswagen as well once they already produce and make those batteries. In my opinion, this just shows the vision of Spotify CEO. He's not afraid to invest his own personal wealth because he has actually pledged $1 billion of his own wealth, which is apparently one third of his total wealth to invest into up and coming startups in Europe. So this is just one of the first. And this just shows his vision and his determination to actually evolve and take risks in order to help humanity, for example, in this case with EVs. But with Spotify, I'm sure the same mentality is done right there. If you would have asked me a couple of years ago, would Spotify become this big, take on YouTube, maybe now Netflix with the video content, I would say no chance. But obviously he has proved me wrong and hopefully he will prove me wrong moving forward. And that will be it for this video. Let me know down in the comments below what you think about Spotify stock. Do you have it? Did you buy? Did you sell? What do you think the future looks like for Spotify? Will they be able to compete with the likes of YouTube and Netflix? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you like this video, please consider leaving a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, we're on our way to 4,000 subscribers. So hit that subscribe button. And as always guys, take care, stay safe, and see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.